Welcome to Ev Rambles. <laughs> Tonight I'm going to do a story time though. I've seen a few things lately on suicide. And I've been feeling, I don't know, I've been feeling kind of funky. <laughs> I tend to fidget with stuff, I apologize. Anyway, so I thought I would just um, speak on something that has affected my life. Um, happened in my life concerning suicide and uh, it's never ever ever an easy thing um, especially if you're subjected to it the particular story that I'll be telling you I was not there I was probably 17 I could have been turning 18 I don't really Remember, I'd have to look it up, and I probably should have. <clears throat> I want to say it was 1974. So anyway, it was at Christmas time. My mother lived in California. I was living here in Michigan with my uncle. And my sister was in the Army. I have been... I don't know if it's the weather. It's kind of like funky, rainy, and gray here right now, and... Um, lately, I think I'm just so tired. When I'm really tired, I get uh, a little on the depressed side, funky side, weepy side. <laughs> so it was at Christmas, during the Christmas season. And I remember, I used to call my mom. I mean, she was an alcoholic, and I, have, I think I have talked about that. Both my parents were. And, uh, I don't know, it, it was like there was just this weird feeling I had. Everybody was acting weird. My sister was visiting from the Army, and everybody was just kind of acting strange. And I would call, and I wasn't getting a hold of her, and I called some friends that I knew, or some guys that knew her, and I asked them if they would check on her, and they said they would. Now, backing up, though, I to tell you a little something that will explain why something happened or why it happened the way it did. When she drank, she took pills, and she always threatened to kill herself, and then she would call the police, and she would do crazy things, or she would call friends, and say stuff to them and they would always call 911 and the ambulance would come and the police and they'd take her off and pump her stomach and go through all of that and then she'd be okay. Now she's done this a few times. And so that's why I think I just, I knew something was wrong. So I called and, and I was expecting these friends to check on her. And I was, it was early, early in the morning and Back then, I didn't have a room. I slept in the front porch. It was really, I wish I had a picture of it. It was absolutely adorable. There was a twin bed, a chef robe, and a desk. And I mean, and my chair. It was like there was, and a curtain. So, but I mean, it was fine for me at my age. <clears throat> and I remember my grandma was alive then. And she um, would sometimes, she checked the mail, and then whatever was for me, she'd throw it on the bed. And so she threw my mail kind of at me or on me on the bed and stuff like that. There was a telegram. And the telegram said that my mom was deceased. And they had found her. I guess how they found her was... I don't know if she had a roommate or a girl renting or something, but somebody saw water coming out from the garage, and she had, um, sorry, she had, uh, like, made the garage into a studio. Maybe she was renting out the house. I don't know, because I hadn't visited um, for a while, so I don't know what was going on. And uh, 
somebody had saw water and I guess the water heater broke or something had happened and then they had found her well she had already been there probably a week so you gotta know that was not a um, a good thing to walk into and uh, I guess what upset me everybody knew it's like um, I guess my sister had found out everybody knew and uh, I found out that they had known obviously sooner they had heard about it and uh, I was mad I was so mad because nobody had the I mean, they had the audacity to keep it from me. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea for me to find out from a telegram. I guess they didn't think I would get anything in the mail. It was like, there was a stereo that I wanted really bad back in the day. I mean, when that was happening, I mean, it was, a, and I knew, and this is stupid. My uncle had bought me a stereo system that I wanted so bad and I kind of knew something was up even then and I kind of felt like that was when I got that he only got it because he felt bad maybe I'm overthinking that but that's how I felt because I don't think I would have gotten it otherwise and then I was kind of upset and I love my sister, don't get me wrong. And it, uh, but I was upset because I didn't, I guess, I mean, she had her cremated and I, I can't remember if she put her ashes in the ocean. I know that's what she did with our father when he passed away after my mom, but you know, he was sick and stuff, but I wasn't there either and I kind of felt like there was never any closure. I wasn't there for either one. Um, so anyway, when I learned that my mom had been cremated and disposed of, for lack of better words, I know that sounds horrible, I was not happy about that either because I felt like there was no closure to say goodbye not that I don't know if that sounds silly but it just felt weird there was like no finality there was no it didn't feel real like you know it's, it's hard to explain but that is one thing that um, and I know that she had issues <clears throat> She had been drinking and she overdosed on the pills and I found out later that the friend that I called never checked on her and I wasn't happy about that. I, I kind of blamed him for a little while but it's kind of like the child that cries wolf or the person that calls wolf. I mean she had done it before and I imagine that there would have come the time anyway that <clears throat> it would have happened you know, regardless of when. It just really sucked the way it did happen. And the way everybody responded. And um, I guess my thing is, if, if anything, don't keep things from people. And another, um, another one, and I don't, I'm not gonna say his name, but I worked with them. Amazing, smart person <sighs> had everything going for him. But I mean, the thing is, with the internet and everything that goes on, I had found out that he committed suicide and I was just you know breezing through the Facebook and I had the most the utmost respect for this this person 
I mean, he was somebody that I looked up to, admired. And then all of a sudden on Facebook, you see that so-and-so committed suicide, you know. And I'm not going to mention how either. It was like, I'm sorry. But it knocked the wind out of me when I saw it. And I was like, I just, it was like, what happened? What made him think that that's, what makes a person think that that's the route they have to take? And you don't know what somebody's thinking. You don't know what's going on in their head. You don't know what what demons they have attacking them that you just think that they're fine and they look fine and they have the perfect life and then the next thing you know they're gone. So anyway and with the internet it's easy to detach yourself from people. Um, it's easy to you know, talk to people online and not have that physical attachment, you know. I mean, I'm talking just a friend, you know, hanging out and laughing and getting a hug and, you know, just having fun. And uh, it, it's sad. I mean, I don't even know what to say, and I know I'm, I'm not... I'm not saying the right words and I'm not explaining things correctly, but it's just like I wish people were more in tune to other people's feelings. I wish, you know, I wish, shoulda, coulda, woulda, wish it was a perfect world. And I know we live in such, you know, times that there's so much evil and there's so much stuff going on and there's so much pain. But, um, I don't even know what to say. I just wanted to, um, share that. Uh, just to let people, I guess, know that um, they're not alone if they have, you know, endured um, such things. And, you know, it's, it's hard. And I'll always remember something you never forget so I'm going to say goodbye and uh, you guys take care and if you get a chance to comment and uh, click on subscribe I will talk to you soon